hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this short recording I just want to do a quick update mainly for our members on the BREX decision uh, what does it really mean to us as day traders and how do we trade this market where do we go from here what's going to happen over the next week or so well a lot of these questions of course I have no idea what's going to happen but I'm just going to show you a couple of trades I took this morning and why so it is uh, Monday morning down under here in Australia and of course it's very early uh, morning evening in I should say evening in the, in London and it's uh, Sunday afternoon Sunday evening in the USA so we're not seeing a lot of action at the moment in the markets but before we get into that uh, of course uh, particularly in the these uncertain times you need to understand the risk of trading for those members you see this on every video of course if you're new to trading or if you're new to, to uh, one of my videos please uh, read this statement very very important so a couple of uh, really important things is how do we trade these volatile markets well we saw last uh, Thursday Friday of course extreme volatility normally during the Globex session and leading into the London session let me get this out right session I would trade the 233 volume chart and that works really well uh, or I might be trading say a 133 tick chart or maybe a one to three minute uh, time based chart but we saw extreme moves and it was uh, virtually impossible to trade at that level so you would jump up uh, I'd recommend to at least a 1000 volume to a 1500 volume and up to a 550 uh, uh, tick chart because what we saw was uh, in the 24 hour period over 4 million US um, uh, ES contracts trade hands so massive volume going through and in fact in my opinion it was virtually untradeable I fired off a couple of trades some of their members uh, did very very well made a lot of money a lot of money out of a market uh, Thursday Friday for me I like to be able to place my trades more strategically and so it just I just didn't feel comfortable with some of the trading I prefer it to slow down so for an example right now the markets slow but you're getting some violent moves which we'll have a quick look at in a moment but a couple of um, uh, really important points here George Soros who many of you know is very very famous uh, back in 1992 he made 1.5 billion pounds from the Bank of England and basically caused the uh, Bank of England to fall to its knees so he's no stranger when it comes to the uh, trading the pound now of recent times he's been buying gold options and heavily investing in gold and uh, and and shorting stocks he saw this coming along and what he's basically saying is that uh, many people a lot of people are going to make a lot of money out of this we don't know how much but of course he's short of a dollar uh, I should say the pound so he's probably made, picked up another one or two billion uh, over the last few days but he's very very concerned that uh, if uh, Great Britain leaves the EU which is looking like it is at the moment of course there's another vote on the way potentially um, that it's, it could just mean just massive problems for Britain so over the next week or so we could see some incredible volatility and, and it could go on for a period of time if we see that uh, another vote comes in uh, it's going to be a lot of uncertainty of course we're seeing Scotland talking about blocking and legal action and so I mean it's all over the place so the big thing here traders right now is to be extremely cautious so make sure that you're checking for any major red flag news announcements now now normally of course news announcements are announced on forex.com and um, not forex.com I should say um, oh gee whiz I'm trying to get so many things out I've forgotten the name forexfactory.com and there's a lot of other sites however because there's so much happening here a lot of these announcements will come out and press conferences without even being on this site so you've got to be extremely cautious and even if you put a stop in some of your stops will, will be run straight through so expect big slippage so what I'm saying is to be extremely cautious you'll need to increase time frames etc now if we then go and have a look at uh, um, some a couple of things here I fired off just a couple of trades here and 
uh, at the moment the markets um, it's 9 a.m. here in Australia the markets moving fairly slowly at the moment but it had some violent moves so I just uh, took a quick scalp here we can actually let me uh, just go and get my yellow pointer up uh, to quick uh, scalp here for uh, six ticks at 750 I then went to go long now one can say okay yeah crazy thing look everything's heading down well, look we've had a big gap down traders so uh, and I know it's extraordinary times but we can see we had a gap down price action had um, uh, leveled out you can see here I had a little double bottom my long-term stokes started to rise I was above the zero line and once again you miss 100% of the shots you don't take so I had an extra wide stock uh, stop rather than six ticks I had an eight tick stop it uh, went straight through uh, it was stalling here for a couple of minutes went through stopped me out I thought okay well once again I rolled the dice I was wrong so that cost uh, around uh, hundred dollars a contract a thousand dollars I then fired off a couple of shorts here I was targeting the low of the day so I had um, uh, one lot right at the low of the day and I then shorted again for one tick below the low of the day and uh, basically on a t25 just there and that scored so I'm up about uh, 1100 or 110 a contract we then had a, a nice t20 uh, and if we just look at what's happening right now uh, we can see here great t3 another nice t3 uh, basically a 200 bounce you've got once again a t20 a t20 all of these are winners if you had if, if I had have kept uh, trading here but I'm preparing some Q&A videos for clients so also for members I should say so I won't do any more trading for a couple more hours and even then I'm going to be very very cautious because some of the follow-through on these candles was was very quick and violent and that is what you've got to really watch now if we go and have a look at what's happening uh, on the Forex market what I've done here is rather than have my range charts up which I like to use because there's so much movement we wouldn't fit all of this on on the on the uh, uh, recording here on the screen so on the left we've got the pound USD we can see up here well it's a little hard for you to see let me just move this for you we can see a big gap down one of the reasons I traded the uh, the yes earlier was the gap down in the double bottom and as I mentioned uh, uh, it went straight through uh, and we can see here because usually a very high percentage you get these gaps will fill however of course we've got extraordinary uh, times right now so we can see this big gap down on the pound USD we're on the three minute chart here who knows what's going to happen we don't have any signals here at all uh, as you can see here the long-term stokes in the middle of a window so it's look it's just a time to be sitting on your hands or, or that's what I would do if I was trading Forex now on the other hand if we look at the euro dollar we're looking at a three minute chart here we can see we had a big gap down and it's filling the gap okay so we can see the pound is the one that's clearly in trouble here uh, the euro dollar is faring really well it's it's on the increase you've had a t20 uh, you see so you've got some trading opportunities you've got a t10 down here a t20 so there's lots of uh, trading happening however with that being said you just don't know when if there's a major uh, uh, news announcement or if the politicians got to get in there who knows what's going to happen so what I'm really saying here traders is just be extremely cautious with trading and there's nothing wrong with uh, just sitting on your hands for a couple of days and just waiting and see what happens I know some of the experienced traders are going to make a small fortune uh, out of the trading over next week or so as they did it late last week as I mentioned earlier some of our, our traders have, have made a lot of money uh, last Thursday Friday it was <laughs> the killing field for poor amateurs but some of the pros did very very well so uh, in summary just be very cautious consider if you're trading Globex uh, on the future side to increasing the time frame that you're trading so uh, traders I hope this was helpful to you please subscribe if you're a new viewer please subscribe to my channel go to my website for my ebook and for further information about the day traders fast track program and for my members please drop me an email if you wish and uh, I'm posting some new Q&A videos uh, up today and a recording on the t3 so the t3 recording will be posted today thank you traders